So for oh, seven, eight years ago, I did start with uh, 3D printers and there has been many along the way. Um, I started with an ANET A6. Uh, it was also when the ANET A8 was very popular. There was uh, a very basic uh, printer. Uh, you had to screw everything together, every little part. It was made of uh, plex uh, what's called plexiglass, acrylic, acrylic, yeah. <laughs> and uh, after that, I also got a, a Dremel, the 3040 which I not was so happy for. It was extremely expensive. It did cost more than uh, in, in dollars. I think it was uh, $1,200 at the time. Uh, it was no heated bed, very small uh, print uh, bed. And, uh, but when it pr did print, it matter of fact delivered uh, very good prints. After that, there has been a lot of realities, the Ender series and uh, and uh, what more? I've had some some other uh, Epson or something like that. I don't remember. It was quite a big one. Also, one house, um, the D9. I still have it. Uh, I used that for another project. That's now finished. The footprint of that print is so big. Uh, so uh, so um, uh, the Sinewinder X1. Um, yeah, and the sign binder and some of my uh, my Ender printer, Creality printers, I still have, um, but I don't use them anymore because there has been happening so much on the 3D printer side. So I changed uh, and bought new printers, and I want to show you which one I did buy. Um, and let's uh, dive into that and take a look to that. Okay. So this is the last printer I did in Westin, and this is my absolutely first uh, bamboo printer. It is uh, A1 Mini, which has a uh, built volume 180 times 180, and it also have this AMS to four colors. And this was especially because of the AMS I bought this printer because I wanted to try this out. I have uh, uh, never tried it uh, out in my life before, only by stopping a print and then change the filament. Um, so, so this is totally new for me. I have not printed a lot with, how should I say, with, 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 with many, many colors. Um, only my first experience is it, it, it cost a lot of filament. And it takes awful a lot of hours, but it's still exciting. Um, especially, I had a small project where I, I needed to to make a what's called a keychain, a key plate, and uh, in two colors. But that was basically when I was finished with the one color layer. I only had to do the rest in in the second color. So it was quite easy and didn't only uh, one filament change uh, for that job. But I still want to, to go ahead uh, with that one. All in all, it works very well. It's, uh, the slicer is an orca slicer. It's a profile for that. Um, it has a camera. It has, uh, uh, of course, auto leveling. Everyone has that. Um, yeah, uh, every... All of the printers here, what I have, except from one, is uh, they claim to have AI. I'm not really sure if that's only a hype. I have never found it to work, even if uh, the filament is just getting a big quirl, or I try to start a print with another print on. It's still, it's not really, how should I say? It's not really working, um, so. Uh, well, let's see what's coming up in the future, maybe with some firmware updates. The second printer I want to show you is my Ankermake uh, 
M uh, M5. It is with the uh, display. Um, it's also a very nice printer. Anchor Make was first out with uh, with uh, a speed of uh, I think it was uh, was it 450 or 500 um, uh, millimeters per per minute, and uh, they were the first out. They they set the the new standard for the printers, which now almost every manufacturer has uh, catched up on. I really like the look of the Anchor Make. It has an, uh, a little bit above average uh, build volume on 235 times 235. It has, of course, uh, filament detections. You have colors here showing if it's uh, heating up and if it's ready, it's green, otherwise it's yellow and so on. Um, it's a very strong uh, uh, filament holder here. And uh, yeah, all in all, I like it really a lot. Uh, one thing that could have been better thought through is that I really would like that the, that the display would have been tilted in 40 degrees. Um, it is really hard to see. You see, I have uh, been printing some, I've been taking it around a small 10 centimeters off the, the table here, but they still, um, it's still difficult to see. On the other hand, it has a very good app, so you can follow and see everything through the app. And uh, yeah, so that's the Anchor Make. Then I have my Creality K1 Max. It has a build volume, build, build volume of uh, 300 times 300 times 300. I'm, I'm re very happy with that uh, this printer here. It's it's an amazing printer, and uh, and uh, it has this uh, AI uh, lidar. Uh, it means it scans uh, the first layer, and uh, if it's okay, it continues printing. Again, this AI. I'm not really sure if it's more hype. I tried to to lift up the first layer, but it still approved it and start uh, uh, printing even it it would fail. Creality has had several updates here. I have not seen uh, any improvement on the AI technology. But the bed leveling and all this, the way it's uh, cleaning the nozzle and all this kind of stuff here, it's really amazing. And as I said, I'm extremely happy with it. Also the quality of the of the print, you take a look here. I'm making some uh, quite a lot of boxes here in different sizes. But take a look here on this on this print here. It's so beautiful. It's uh, layer height 0.2 and this is printed. This is even not high speed filament. It is uh, printed with 250 millimeters per per minute. Uh, and, uh, and it, it's, it's, I'm so pleased with it. I'm so pleased with it. So it's really one of my go-to printers. It can also take a little bit uh, bigger volumes. Um, it is a closed cabinet and uh, the, the control panel is, is also a really, really nice uh, interface. The slicer for Creality, what I have done with all my, my printers now is I use the slicer that, that comes with, uh, with the printer and in this case it's Creality Print. It works extremely well, um, nothing to complain on. Uh, I tested all my, my printers with, uh, especially with the supports and in the past I used uh, Simplify 3D, uh, which is very good on on the supports. Uh, it's it's really giving um, how should I say uh, a support you easily can uh, uh, remove without a big uh, hassle. But I'm even bought the latest update after that came after I think it's a year or two and more a two maybe a three. And uh, I'm not so impressed by it anymore. It seems that uh, that the pr many, uh, pr uh, printer manufacturers are catching up. 
uh, on these uh, uh, independent uh, uh, slicers. So the Creality Print also makes some, well, files that will recognize if there's something wrong with, with the print. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm very happy with my, my Creality K1 Max. Uh, that's already now out. I think it's a K2 now called and uh, K1C carbon. But this one, it's, it's really great. I have made uh, a very simple tool here. So uh, this one, <laughs> so this means I, I put that on the top here and then I can print TPU and here is quite some soft uh, TPU I have been printing and on the Creality uh, it's, uh, you see here, it's amazing quality. Uh, printed with TPU here and that's because I want to go directly into the uh, extruder um, the long Bowden tube would absolutely not work with uh, with uh, with uh, TPU and this is TPU 85 so it's uh, quite soft it expands for four, uh, four times last but not least I have my absolutely first flash force and this is the Adventure 5M Pro. And man, I can tell you, I am so happy with, with this one. It's, I'm really, really, really happy with it. It's become more and more my go-to printer. It's so easy to, um, to use. It's so reliable and it makes so a lot of beautiful prints here. Uh, let me show you here. This is uh, the same type of box. Uh, look here on the quality. It's uh, 0 0.2 millimeter layer height, and it's it's a, really a great printer. It also came with a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which I have used for uh, which I have which I have used for. Um, for if I have a uh, print in waste mode and it becomes much stronger the, uh, the print with the 0 0.6. I want to buy the 0 0.8 also and it's so easy to change uh, this uh, nozzle in here. You, you cut the uh, filament and you push two buttons together and you drag it out and you set in the, the other nozzle. I really love this machine, and it's absolutely not my last, uh, my last uh, flash force. Uh, that's, I'm so impressed. Really great. So, and another thing that I'm using is this Sunblu. It's a filament dryer, and it can take either two spools of uh, three kilos or four spools of one kilo. I have only one kilo spools, but this I'm also very, very happy with. It's really drying fast up. Uh, I, I, I always have perfect filament. Uh, now it's 30, 37% moisture in there. It will go down to 21, 20, 21. And it's just an incredible, I'm so happy I bought this one. It's really great. I keep my filament in there, uh, which I use, uh, of course, what I mainly use all the time. And uh, yeah, not more to say. I'm, I can really reco recommend uh, all this. So this was the changes I have made with my 3D printers. It's a new journey with the new technology and uh, yeah, let's see what the future is, is uh, coming up with. But uh, right now I have enough to do with these four printers. Thank you for watching. Seeing you another day, another time. Happy printing. <music>